so you've spoken about the turn at the Brabourne Stadium. You've spoken about this one, two hundred and thirty-three in the semi-final. Yeah. So, are there any other knocks that you may have seen at the international level or the first-class level that you would pick as your best in your ratings? Uh. See, international, there have been so many, and I can, you know, keep counting. I said the Sharjah Knox and Wimbledon, the first hundred that he got in Australia. I think there, there are certain games where you're very difficult to handpick and say this is his best because there have been some brilliant moments. Uh, Domestic-wise, uh, you know, I've been witness on the now this time it's been the opposite side. I've been the opponent this time. Bengal, I was coaching Bengal, and Bengal was playing Mumbai at one kade, and we are playing the finals. 2006-7. 2006-7 finals. Uh, one kade at that time, that wicket was a little seamer friendly because uh, Mumbai had a good attack. You know, had Zaheer, Ajit Agarkar had a, had a good attack then, and uh, vice versa for us as well. We had a, we banked on our seamers to deliver. Ronald Bose was in great form then, and uh, we played on a seamer friendly kind of a wicket. Uh, we lost the toss. Uh, uh, we won the toss, I think. We won the toss, and we were fielding. And uh, we took two wickets and uh, early when they got they were on 20 for two and uh, he Sachin came into bat and he was batting out there and uh, that period where he played the seamers uh, that one hour that we really wanted to capitalize uh, you know the way he batted I think uh, it was for for the youngster the lesson of to how to really approach uh, and play on a seamer friendly track I think uh, that's one of the that's one of the reasons I feel at that time uh, Bengal didn't go through because that one hour that he that he batted where we could have easily picked up two or three more wickets, uh, he single-handedly played. It's kind of encyclopedia. You couldn't nothing else would have teach you just to observe him the way he batted, the way he left the ball. It's fantabulous. One of the better innings that I've seen in domestic cricket, and I've been I've witnessed it. So I know I've been on the opposite side. I've taken the brunt. I know. But that's something which really pops into mind. He got a hundred there, and that was a game-changing hundred for us. And that may have been one of the few occasions when you didn't want him to succeed. Yeah, I, in fact, I told him. I said I told him prior to that. I said, uh, you know, please. And it was after the series. He played some series. He played some West Indies. I think he had a break in between and was playing a Test match again after that. And I told him. I said, why are you playing? I said you shouldn't be playing this game. Any other game, please, I won't say that, but don't play this game. I knew that really mattered because his presence will matter uh, and it did eventually.